At first glance, the far reaches of outer space and the vast ocean depths don't seem to have all that much in common. But if you're a modern day explorer, there's one thing both environments definitely share. They're potentially deadly. Just ask deep sea diver Mike Lombardi. So the challenges that are imposed on the human body have to be met with technology, and it's very much analogous to space. Even though the ocean take up 70% of the Earth's surface, we don't know all that much about it. We haven't spent a lot of time focusing on getting down to the bottom of the ocean. And so, you know, here we are, we live on this planet, and we actually know less about this planet and what's underwater than what we know of Mars and the moon. The problem is not only the lack of light or oxygen, the pressure created by all that water is immense. If a human being were at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, seven miles down, the pressure would be like trying to lift 600 jumbo jets. It's a hostile environment, and that can be incredibly dangerous. So what's really important is to engineer the risk out of these experiences. It takes equipment, it takes technology. Take this deep sea diver, the Rima 6000. It's an AUV or autonomous underwater vehicle. Outfitted with multiple sensors and cameras, it's designed to go where no human can go. We want to go deeper. How deep is the ocean? And so, because of reasons like um, you know the dangers of the ocean and it being not only unchartered, so you don't know what you're actually swimming into and swimming around and what lurks down in the deep. It's dark, it's cold, but it's also a lot of pressure at the bottom of the ocean. So to design something that can withstand that that that, that force is a really difficult engineering feat. But Remus, which took more than 20 years to develop, is called autonomous for a reason. It explores on its own, on battery power. So eventually it's going to run out of juice. And that's kind of a bummer when you're in the middle of making a new discovery and the batteries are, you know, are drained, it comes to the surface and that's it. Now there's a futuristic device designed to solve this problem. It's called the exosuit, and it's a piece of wearable tech that could revolutionize underwater exploration. The, the potential that we have at our fingertips is really to recreate a new era of manned ocean exploration. And that's really where innovation lies uh, in diving today. It's how do we make these experiences safer, and if they're safer, uh, they can be more productive. The exosuit looks remarkably like a spacesuit or even the original underwater diving suits from a century ago. It allows the diver to explore the ocean safe from the dangers of water pressure. Unlike traditional diving suits, the exosuit encloses the diver. The suit is almost like a submarine you could wear around your body. The best option is to protect the human. The exosuit is the perfect tool for that because you, you completely protect the human by keeping him at a surface pressure or a surface type environment. On land, the exosuit weighs more than 500 pounds. But in the water, it's amazingly light. It's made of aluminum, and the joints, like elbows, wrists, and knees, have new technology that gives divers the mobility that they need to work underwater. And that's really the, the important technology behind the suit. So these rotary joints are oil-filled and they allow rotation even under great pressure. Uh, so that's what gives us the freedom to move like a person uh, at extreme depth. That freedom also allows divers to spend hours underwater without having to take time to decompress as they come to the surface. As a result, new species are being discovered and potential medicines are being found. As this technology develops in the run-up to 2050, divers will be able to go deeper for longer periods of time, perhaps even days. When that happens, there's no telling what our oceans could provide as we move into the future. Coming up on Earth 2050, wearable tech gets fashionable. This is a very new approach to putting technology in clothing. I don't think we've seen this before.